All right, so we're gonna go ahead and splint a leg injury of the uh, tibia or fibula. So when we're looking at our lower leg injury with all of our splints, we need to splint, it's a bone, the joint above and below. So we're gonna need to immobilize the ankle and the knee. So as we're starting any of our skills, make sure that you're wearing the appropriate BSI. As we come on, I'm gonna have my partner take manual stabilization of the fracture. And I'm gonna check my distal CMF. So I can check for a pulse, either my uh, posterior tibialis or my dorsalis pedis pulse. Have them wiggle their toes and check for sensation. Once our CMS is done, we're ready to splint. So for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Pro Splint. So the Pro Splint are the blue foam uh, splints with the Velcro straps. Now anytime that I use a Pro Splint, I wanna make sure that I add padding. Uh, it just helps with, within the leg injury, add a little bit more comfort uh, to, that, to the splint. And so I'm, for me, I'm loosening up the, um, the ankle stabilizing straps. This allows me to open that up a little bit more. And I'm going to lay my trauma dressings on the inside of the splint. So to put this one in place, we are going to have to slightly lift the leg uh, in order to get that on there. So it's important that your partner has good stabilization and lifts the leg as a unit. So communication, I'm gonna have my partner uh, let them know when I'm ready and we're gonna go ahead and then lift. So are you ready to lift? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna lift tightly and we're gonna slide this splint in place, making sure that that ankle is kind of right in the, the, the crook of that splint. So now at this point, I can go ahead and start securing my straps around the splint. And so I like to start with stabilizing the bones around that fracture, and then I work my way down and up the, the device to go ahead and immobilize the joint. So my knees immobilized, I'm gonna bring my, uh, my foot platform here, we're gonna bring that up to that 90 degree, and I'm gonna tighten up these stabilizing straps that keep that angle at the 90, and then my last strap around the foot and so at this point, it's immobilized, so we're gonna reassess our CMS. So I check for my distal circulation, have my patient wiggle their toes, and check for sensation. After we assess our CMS, uh, the skill is now complete um, with splinting with a pro splint.